Yo, it's your boy Arkees, Garage Band 10, problem solving. So, Garage Band 10, I love it. A lot of good things about it. But what I didn't love is it didn't recognize any of my old instruments. Well, first of all, I didn't have any old instruments on this thing. <laughs> but it didn't. I thought that when I plugged in my external hard drive that it would see all that stuff. It didn't. So, what I ended up doing is I was just initially looking through the library application support GarageBand folder. Now, don't be confused about what you're seeing. Initially, when I looked in this folder, there was no um, track setting, masters, real software thing. That wasn't in there. Only one thing was in there was the plugins, the some of the some sample files. It was very scarce. It wasn't a lot of stuff in there. I thought that was weird. So what I did is I hooked up my old hard drive where I stored a lot of that stuff is, and I pulled everything that was in this old hard drive from my from old sound to old loops into uh, my hard drive here, uh, the computer hard drive. So external and regular hard drive. And of course, the reason why I had all my stuff was on my external hard drive is because I didn't want to store all this crap on my hard drive. So to say that, what ended up happening was initially when I had pulled, I pulled in one file initially, let me show you. So when you open up GarageBand 10, uh, Act like legacy is not there because it won't be there. You have all this other stuff going on, arpeggios, whoop de whoop, and uh, all that good stuff. So that's the sounds that came with it. When I initially loaded this thing, <laughs> which is the an old GarageBand pack, jam pack, that's when the legacy window popped up. And then initially, only thing that was in that was jam pack voices. It wasn't a lot of stuff in it. There was no symphony stuff. There was no other garage band stuff. So kind of ignore that. So from there, I went into the folder and then I found that stuff and I saw that. So when you go into the folder, you'd be like, that's just so weird, man. Why, where's all my sounds at? And why is it only accepting, you know, this, that, and the other? So what I noticed was, I'll just use this one. So I went into it and I saw these. These were some of the ones that loaded and I saw that CST, dot CST. So I said, wait. This is not complicated. I, I've been in this role. I've been down this road before. So what I end up doing is going to my external drive and basically pulling everything that mattered into my drive because Pro, I mean Pro Tools, GarageBand just was being stupid about it. They didn't want to recognize it unless it was in this folder, right? So once I did that, I reopened. Oh, make sure when you do that, you close GarageBand. I reopened GarageBand and then all of the other sounds came through. Boom. Boom, boom. I mean, everything. I got everything back that was on my old garage band. Okay, so here's the issue that you're going to run into. And don't let this scare you. So let's say you're in your garage band, right? And I got a lot of sounds. You go to Step It 2 Remix. I think I did this one already, so I have to skip that one. Okay, Old School Funk Remix. All right. So I picked Old School Funk Remix, and this window came up. Like, what the heck is this? What I'm about to show you applies for everything that you had that was old. GarageBand now wants to be a friend and figure out, well, oh, great. Where do you want me to access this, this music from, this, this, these sounds, these samples from? Oh, great. Well, why didn't you just do this in the first place? <laughs> so you're going to have a couple of choices, which is the choice I'm going to initially go back to, which is I want you to always come get this from the Lacey. Boom. Oh, click OK. What's going to happen is you're going to see that window pop up a couple of times. The reason why it's either getting every instrument or every note. So, boom. Look, and every time you got to take your time, you got to go back to the lacy. You got to do that a couple of times. OK. Oh, cool. I only had to do it three times. And when you do it three times, all your sounds going to be there. You're going to have to do that almost every time for every instrument, but don't go do every instrument because you're not going to be using every instrument every freaking day. Just do it when you need it. So that's how you solve the, how do I get all of my samples and how do I get all of my instruments from my old garage band back in my garage, <laughs> from garage band, my old garage band to the new garage band. That's how you do it. Okay. You got to go to your, uh, um, uh, library to, let me help y'all. Basically, go to your library. Let me help you out. Let me help you out. 
Hold on. I know some people know it. Okay, go to your library. Boom. Application support. Boom. GarageBand. This is on your computer. Leave that open. Go to your external hard drive. Find your GarageBand folder, wherever the heck that is. I'm sorry, people. I'm shaking all over the place. And then open that up and then drive stuff the way you need it. Now, once you do that, you probably have a choice because now that GarageBand is asking you where it wants it from, you probably I probably didn't even have to drag all that stuff in. But I'm going to go back and take some stuff off my hard drive and just systematically make GarageBand go back and just use everything on the Lacey. Da da the end. You should be able to use every freaking thing that you have after this point. You should have no more problems with not being able to import any of your old school sounds, uh, instrument sounds, or library. Okay? It should ask you every time where you want to get it from. All right, that's your boy Arkeys, man. Garage Band. Oh, what I do love. My favorite thing in Garage Band. Let me open this thing up while we're here. You know, pull this out right here. Yo, I love my favorite daggone thing. If this thing will stop being stupid for a second. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, I can't do it right now. My bad. I have to show y'all that later, how it follows your music with the beat. It, you know, how it can hook the beat up just for free almost. And then you like lagging the beat. But then if you say follow the piano, it completely makes the beat follow the piano and recreates the whole. That's a whole other issue. Let me. I digress. I'm out. Peace.